Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Fire and Fours. We are playing with the Great War mod as the Ottoman Empire. Uh, so I hope you guys are having an awesome Wednesday. I'm recording this on Tuesday night. I just got home from work. I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm having a couple beers, uh, by the way. I'm uh, I'm on my I'm, I'm not a drunk or anything. I'm not gonna do what everybody thinks I'm gonna do and fuck this all up. <laughs> I'm not drunk. I've had uh, two beers. I'm working on the third right now, uh, but I will be drunk later. That is the plan. That's the goal. So if you hear any drinking, any sipping here, that's that's me uh, drinking a beer right now. Uh, but yeah, I really just felt like I got home today and I just felt like I just, I need a couple beers and I need a little bit of hearts of iron in my life. That's what I need right now. Uh, some people might find that weird, uh, playing strategy games while drinking. I do it all the time, guys. I, I don't know why. I drink and then I want to play strategy. Uh, I know it sounds odd because uh, it's a thinking type of game, and when you're drunk, you don't really think all that well. Uh, but I don't know why. Uh, maybe, you, uh, maybe you guys think that's weird, or maybe you're in the same boat as me. Maybe you get drunk and you want to play some strategy. Uh, but yeah, I love love doing this. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited to get started here. Uh, I mentioned in the last video that I noticed while editing. Uh, that video that their uh, strength over here in Bulgaria is extremely low right now. We're not extremely low. Let me I'm exaggerating here about halfway from any of these divisions now I don't know if it's just because they're on the attack right now or if this is like a lack of strength and manpower now These countries should not have a lot of manpower. I mean if it's accurate uh, I mean the way it works in vanilla They just when you're a smaller country like this you just do not have a lot of manpower uh, So I think that that's how we're gonna exhaust them uh, with the manpower could be with the equipment as well I'm not entirely sure, but I think we should build a launch an offensive soon Well, we're technically we're already launching one right now, and we're winning it uh, trying to move towards the capital here go towards uh, Sophia so um, let's go and get started. Uh, we're gonna unpause it. Oh, one thing that I wanted to do though, uh, we are going to go ahead and fix this. Somebody noticed in the comments uh, that I had these guys set to, uh, you know, continue to build uh, units there. We do not want that. Uh, we are losing right there, it seems. Though they pulled that off. Still losing over here. This has just been such an issue, this province here. Uh, it's, it's moved into green now. Okay. Yeah, we're doing excellent. This is really good. How's the Greek border going? Yeah, Greece is going fine too. Okay, everything's looking pretty good. It looks like a lot of the, the units that we're facing off right, against right now have low strength. Look at the Greeks. Yeah, that is interesting. Hmm. I kind of feel... We just got radio. Uh, I kind of feel like maybe we should attack. You know what? Let's let's concentrate on one country at a time. Uh, I would really like to... Let's see if we can attack over here. Uh, let's go ahead and get this next tech first, though. Uh, I suppose we'll probably get radio again, or the communication system, uh, to get that reinforce rate up. Uh, that's always helpful. Uh, let's go ahead and get that. We don't really have a whole lot of stuff to research right now. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to get that. Uh, and, yeah, let's go ahead and um, attack over here. Uh, and Montenegro. They're currently attacking us right now. Uh, let's just see if we could... We don't really have very strong divisions here. Uh, we kind of pulled a lot of them. Nope. Still can't win. I don't know. It's it's kind of jumping back and forth. No, I don't think that's going to be a win, though. Let's just go ahead and pull back. Uh, but, yeah, they've lost so many casualties, guys. Uh, if you just take a look here, uh, 24,000 Serbia, 57,000 Bulgaria, 35,000 Greece, uh, 6,000 Montenegro. Uh, we've only lost 7,000. Uh, you can just see here. I mean, that's just a massive amount for such a small, for these small countries here. Uh, and, and yeah, they, they have a lot more manpower than that, but look at how many divisions they have built. They have probably used up most of their manpower, uh, while building there. It seems we have an extra factory. I'm not entirely sure how we got that. Um, yeah, I don't know how we got that. Maybe that's the one we built, but why did the civilian factories? Maybe we're repairing something? Let me just take a look here, because I'm curious. Yes, we're repairing something. Uh, how... You know what? We're not even going to build that. We're going to go ahead and get something else. Uh, let's get more military factories. I feel like that's really what we re need right now. Uh, we are hurting on the military factories. It has not been uh, great over here. Uh, let's go ahead and build right there, I suppose. Um, you know what? No. Let's build here. Let's get two more military factories. Then we might start working on some other stuff. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to go ahead and pump this down to the bottom. It doesn't need to be up there at the top. I believe there's different ways to move these. Or when you click. Hold on. Let me just test something, guys. Um, if you control click this... Uh, shift click to build maximum. So maybe control click. I saw this in the the uh, in the change log. Uh, if we sh control click, it should build to the top. Yes, it does. All right. So now we know. Uh, if we control click, it will go straight to the top there. I don't want to build right there. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 pretty cool. Uh, nice little change that came in the patch there. Uh, where do we want to put this factory? I feel like we really don't have any options. We have to put it towards support equipment. We're having so much issues uh, getting that support equipment there. We're also lacking quite a bit of resources here. Uh, I really don't want to trade away all of my uh, factories. But I feel like we should probably at least get aluminum. What else is kind of hurting? Um, we're getting hurt here without the tungsten. We actually need two tungsten right now. 
Uh, what else? Okay, the rest are all ships, which I, I really don't mind so much that those are being hurt. Uh, so I guess what we're going to go ahead and do is we will trade for the aluminum. We'll rate, wait for the tungsten, guys. We will trade for the aluminum, though. So let's go ahead and get uh, some aluminum. Who are we trading with right now uh, for that aluminum right now? Let's just take a look. The United States. Um, maybe there might be a better country to trade with. Austria-Hungary, perhaps? Yeah, let's let's go ahead and cancel this. Uh, no, no, no. Cancel it. Uh, and then uh, we'll let that, that uh, take action real quick. It takes a little minute. And then we're going to go ahead and trade with Austria-Hungary. Uh, so we don't have to worry about as many convoys going across there. Okay, so that should help. Um, and yeah, green all the way across the board here. Uh, hoping to do some more offensives. Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll launch one right here. Uh, or another unit, I mean. Uh, let's send another division. Let's get these guys over there. Maybe we can uh, defeat them a little bit quicker here. Because uh, it's kind of taken a long time. Oh, okay, we don't want to do that. We're being attacked. Okay, let's pull that back. Uh, don't want to weaken those divisions. I completely forgot about they had a border right here. Just ever so tiny little border where they can attack us here. Okay, um, where else can we... Uh, do anything. We're, we're defending everywhere right now, so it doesn't really leave us with a lot of options. Uh, let's see if we can attack right here, though. No, that would not that would not succeed at all. Okay, whatever. Uh, I'd love to attack here, but I don't really want... Hmm, how many divisions are here? Yeah, they're flipping out over here. I don't know what's going on. I would really like to take this province. Uh, look at how many divisions are here, though. Just far too many. I think we should stay on the defensive. Let's continue to exhaust their strength. Uh, 62,000 now, guys. Uh, it's it's going to happen. Although they could, of course, change their uh, laws here. So that is something to think about, uh, which then manpower wouldn't be an issue, at least for a little while. Uh, but I don't know if all of them will change it. What is it to see? Uh, I'm seeing that their strength is just lower everywhere. Uh, the Greeks seem to be doing the worst, probably because they've been attacking so much. Uh, we're losing here, uh, but that's only because they keep pulling my divisions. Uh, I would hate to attack here um, because these are the mountains. They're going to be kind of difficult, uh, but I think we're going to try. Let's let's attempt to. Uh, let's use... Well, we can't. We're defending here. Defending here. Uh, we can attack right here, though. Let's go and send one of these guys over here. Can they win? No, they cannot. What about with two? Can two win? What are they doing? Look at them. They're, like, just sitting there. Oh, they're smoking cigarettes. They're supposed to be fighting. <laughs> Our guys are not... They're not fighting. All right, well, they can't win. Uh, that's those mountains, guys. Uh, I just don't think... Uh, somebody else suggested we attack Greece. Even with these these weakened units, there's still a lot of divisions there. The, over here, they're real strong. Uh, we're going to actually send one of these guys uh, over to here. And besides, the mountains are kind of killing us with the attrition. Uh, but even though, yeah, they're, they're weaker, uh, they're, they're, this is terrible terrain, guys. The terrain there is rough. And, and the damn war with Italy... I didn't realize that was paused. Uh, the damn war with Italy has still not ended. It has got to have been six months since we defeated them. I don't remember. I didn't really check. Uh, but it, but it has got it's had had to have been that far. Um, it looks like we're losing this one. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I wonder if we can attack here and win. And if we support. Can they win? That's like really weird. Like some of our divisions aren't attacking. It seems like they're not. It's just the support. There we go. Okay, they're fighting now. And that would be a victory. That would be awesome if we could take that province, guys. Uh, not only would it shorten the front by one province, uh, but that's a that's a victory point. That's, that would be huge. Uh, still having some trouble attacking over here, unfortunately. Um, hmm. Oh, they're attacking us now. Okay, it looks like they moved more divisions over there. Uh, maybe pulled them off this side of things. Okay, and we just can't attack over here. We're just on the defense everywhere. There's just nothing that we can do. Uh, we're defending. Uh, so let's just keep on letting them attack us. Like I said, this is this is excellent. Um, look at how many casualties they're taking right now. That's an incredible amount of ca casualties for such a small state. Uh, I, I imagine they can't they can't have too much more manpower unless they change. Um, they're still at limited right now. Is everybody still at limited? Seems like it. Yeah, the, everybody still is. Okay. All right. Well, I'm okay with that. I don't know why they're not changing, uh, but yeah, this that's actually good for us. And it looks like this is no longer uh, winning here. Well, that's unfortunate. They just moved too many divisions over there. I was really, really hoping to take that. Uh, I just, I don't think it's gonna happen right now. We're gonna go ahead and probably pull back. Uh, let them, let them attack us. I think that would be better for right now. Uh, and they're gonna move some of those divisions. Yeah, it looks like they're moving some of the divisions. Oh, did we lose over here? No, we didn't. Okay, we're still winning. I completely forgot about that province there. Um, hmm. I'm gonna try again. Let's try, try again. If we can win. Seems like that is a no. All right, well, we're going to leave it for a little bit. Let's just see what happens there. That always could tick up to the yellow or the green. Let's just give it a second. It, it is moving up a little bit. 
Hmm. Okay, we'll just we'll just leave it as is. And let's see. Nope. Everywhere. We are defending everywhere right now. Okay. Nothing to be done about it. Uh, we'll just stay on the defense. Let them uh, exhaust themselves. I think we're gonna go up to speed three, guys, because we pretty much are. Yeah, we're just we're just on the defensive right now. I do want to check how those units are doing training up. Uh, they should be done soon. Uh, I think we might actually deploy them uh, before they have all their stuff. We might do that. You know what? Let's do it, guys. Uh, can we? Um, oh, we didn't give them a deployment order yet. Okay, I want them to go to Constantinople. Uh, let's just go in and, and, and put them in there now. And then we'll create a little training army. Uh, and get them uh, uh, training up here. Uh, we'll put them on the green uh, peasant icon here. Right, excellent. Let's go ahead and get them training up. Uh, and yeah, they don't have all their equipment. We'll let them get their equipment as they go. Uh, and they'll actually get it quicker uh, now that they're uh, out here. Uh, because they, I think they were set to the lowest priority here. So yeah, they should start getting their equipment a little bit quicker now. Uh, how are we doing on equipment, by the way? Uh, looks like still hurting pretty bad on that support equipment. I'm like shocked at how... We did have a lot of divisions, though. We had a lot of infantry divisions. And when we changed up those uh, designs... Um, hmm... Where's this at? Oh, this is still here. Okay. Uh, Italy just keeps on sending divisions over here, and they're really, really weak. Uh, that's because they have them on that automatic, uh, and then they pretty much launch as soon as they get to the port. Uh, now, that was something that changed, and you know what? We're we're expending manpower here and equipment that we don't need to be. Uh, we're not winning there. It's not, it's not ticking up. I thought maybe, perhaps, it might be worth it. Uh, and we did get one of those military factories finished up, so two of them. We got them both done. Huh. We didn't take any. Nah, we didn't take any. Okay, well, let's go and put these into... Um, I think we're going to do... I don't know. Let me check the field artillery situation. We got 54 guns. That's not bad. Uh, so I don't think we need to put another factory towards that. Uh, we might do a siege artillery here. Um, or we could go ahead and keep on investing towards this. I think we should. And we have... Well, we need, we're going to need to trade for more resources now. Yep, we're going to have to trade for some steel. All right. Whatever. Uh, it just sucks that we're giving away. We know what we need to do. We need to build some civilian factories, guys. Uh, so we can build these military factories a little bit faster. Uh, is there anywhere else that we could get? Maybe Germany? We can get... No, that would probably... Yeah, I think that would still go uh, by C. How about Austria-Hungary? Yeah, let's just make Austria-Hungary our key trading partner. Uh, why strengthen up the allies? Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, when we're going to be fighting them. I'm sure America will probably join the war eventually, although you can never really tell what's going to happen. And Mexico still says the Mexican opposition. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why that is. Uh, I thought we need two from them. Let me just check this. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, we need a lot more. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I did there. Why I just, why I just took one. Uh, probably some stupid mistake on my part. Uh, and yeah, this is not good. They are winning over here. Okay. How are these guys doing? Uh, we could always put them on the front uh, before they get... Oh, no, we're still waiting on equipment. They do not have a lot of their equipment right now. They're still only 49% strength. Okay, we're going to wait then. Uh, and I really want to attack here. I wonder, we could win. That would be awesome if we could take that province. Uh, it's not a victory point. Um, but I think it will decrease the front, maybe. I don't know. I think these two provinces do connect, unfortunately. Yeah, we actually have divisions attacking from us right there as we speak. Uh, so, yeah, that's not going to help. Okay, um... I don't think... And where are these guys going? Okay, they're just moving. Oh, we took the province. Awesome, guys. Uh, so let's go and take a look at how that has affected it. They are now 48% towards capitulation. That's even higher than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. Are they still at 78%? Yeah, they are. Huh. Interesting. If we took the capital, guys, uh, that would uh, we would defeat them. So uh, what's going on here? I think they've been moving my units. I'm pretty sure they have. I feel like we should probably move one of these guys. Look at that guy. Seasoned. Looking good. We're going to move these guys over to here. Uh, and then we're going to go and stop that attack. That's not going to That's not gonna be a, a win there. Victory. Uh, we're going to bring these guys so that we can uh, bring somebody over to here. Because for, uh, clearly, these guys are not going to win. Uh, but I love all the experience we're getting. It's absolutely awesome. Awesome. Uh, we have all that army experience too. Which I think we're going to wait to make adjustments to our units. Uh, and you know what? I, I'm pretty sure we're going to... Uh, stop training these guys. Uh, we're going to put them on the line. Yep, that we are. Uh, we're going to get them over here. Uh, probably put some onto that yellow army as well. And one onto the orange. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Let's get Bulgaria defeated. Uh, so yeah, th I think three will go here. God damn it, I'm getting tired of them moving my divisions. It's getting a little bit irritating. Come on over here, guys. God, look at this guy. He's a veteran. 
Yeah, that is great. A lot of times you have trouble getting that experience because you take so many casualties, but when you're on the defense, that is not a problem. Uh, so we got mountain infantry. Uh, I don't think we can get level two yet. That's no, that's that's quite some time away. 1918. Uh, not gonna get marines. Uh, I don't I don't know that we'll we'll probably won't use them. Uh, we could end up using them uh, in time, but it's it's not a priority, guys. Uh, I'd prefer to get some other stuff here. Uh, we could always get the signal companies, but I, I don't I don't usually get these. Uh, but we could. That's that's an option. Uh, also, we would eventually want want like to get the maintenance companies, though. That's that's not a priority. Uh, are we in 1913 yet? We are close enough. Uh, where we could research that the armored cars there. Um, I'd also like to research the heavy artillery here. Uh, that's an option. However, we're we're working on getting that bonus for that right now. So I think we're gonna wait until we actually get that bonus. Uh, and then we could always work on our naval doctrines as well. Uh, I don't want to do air doctrine just because we don't have any planes yet. Uh, so yeah, I think what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to go ahead and get the armored cars here. Uh, I think that'll be a good idea. Uh, since we haven't even started to build those other ones yet. Uh, and then we have a little bit of political power as well. Uh, what do we want to use these for? I think we agreed. Um, I we agreed. Like I discussed this with you guys. Uh, that the entrenchment speed would be awesome. So we are going to get that. That will help us out. Uh, especially as we are uh, doing so, many, so much movement here. And yeah, these guys are going to lose. Let's, let's go ahead and put... Um, hmm. I guess we're going to put this really good division over there. These guys are going to come over here and help. Uh, that should uh, be very, very beneficial. Um, getting them over there. Yeah, that has already got that to green. All right, excellent. Um, where else can we attack here? Uh, I really want to attack here. Uh, I think we're going to attempt to. Let's send them over there. And then we're going to support with them. And I suppose we can support with these guys as well. Okay, nice. Um, so maybe we'll be able to defeat them there. I really don't know, though. I thought we were going to defeat them before, and we did not. Uh, so we'll just have to see what happens there. Uh, I wonder if we can attack anywhere else. Uh, and attack anywhere else, though, would increase the size of the front, which obviously would not be desirable just yet. These we these units are extremely weak, though, so I kind of want to go on the offensive right now. I'm feeling like it's about time, guys. Uh, let's just put one of these guys. Uh, let's attack right there. Yeah, we could win there. Okay. Uh, could we win here, I wonder? I don't know. It looks like that's a no. Okay, we will stop for now. Yeah, we're gonna wait. Uh, let's take this province. Um, yeah, we're still defending here. Maybe we can finally do what we're gonna do and get those divisions cut off over there. Uh, it looks like we have another uh, factory here. Uh, I mean, it's great having the factories and all, but that does mean that we lose civilian factories. Uh, I kind of feel like we should go ahead and get some civilian factories building. Uh, we're gonna put this into, I'm thinking support equipment, because we do have some more aluminum here to play with. Just a little bit. Um, so it would hurt our steel once again, uh, but just by one, which would just affect the ships. So that's not a problem. Yeah, let's go in and do that. I really want to get those built up. And why is it saying we need 2,500 here? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I have no idea why that, that says that. Uh, I think it's doing it like it used to do it. Um, you know what? We're going to take these guys uh, and go and get them on there. No, wait a minute. Let me just see. Nope, 62%. They're not there yet. Let's let them get a little bit more equipment, guys. I don't, I don't feel comfortable putting them on the front line. Uh, they're just too weak. And let's just see here. Um, and also, they would lose their experience, too, as they get uh, equipment, uh, which might tick them down uh, to a point we don't want them to be at. Uh, so we'll just let them collect their equipment. Uh, yeah, we're winning all these defenses. Uh, they're just all our enemies are so weak right now. They just can't uh, compare. I really wish they'd stop moving these divisions. Uh, but I have no say over these things. Uh, they just do what they want. Well, whatever. Uh, and let's go ahead and see if we can launch another offensive. Oh, that's right. We are. We're attempting to attack this province here. Uh, I'd love to get a little bit of support here with this division. Uh, but they keep attacking us here. So I really don't want to weaken these divisions. And we are winning. Uh, of course, it would be a little bit quicker if we sent these guys in to help. Uh, but you know what? It's fine. It is absolutely fine, guys. Uh, we have mass charge as well. Uh, that is our next uh, doctrine here, which is going to increase planet speed, division speed. Uh, but we do lose more organization when moving. That's unfortunate. Uh, we got a little bonus here for this one. Uh, this is going to uh, increase the support battalion soft attack and organization. Okay, that'll help, I think. Um, I'm not entirely sure. That might help us. Because uh, I don't think any of our support battalions uh, give uh, soft attack right now. However, the organization would help, so that's that's great. Uh, max entrenchment, 20, plus 20. Entrenchment speed, plus 50%. Yeah, that is pretty good. Let's go ahead and get that up. I think that'll help quite a bit. We did take this uh, province here, which is cool, uh, and I think what we're gonna do, I kinda want... These guys are winning pretty easily. 
I think we're going to send this, this really, really good reserve unit. Uh, we're going to get them moving over to here. And then um, I, I will be able to take this province once we finish up this defense here. They just keep attacking us here. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to send one of these divisions. Uh, we'll just take any one of them. Look at how much experience they got. I love all the experience, guys. Uh, we're going to bring these guys over to here uh, so that we can try and take that province, get these divisions cut off here. Uh, it looks like somebody's coming over there. That's very unfortunate because uh, it was free and open right there uh, but just weren't able to move yet at that time. Uh, these guys are going to come... Uh, I'm not sure. We might bring them over to here. Wow, look at all these divisions that are pumping over there. Uh, this offensive is, is causing the uh, Bulgarians to send uh, troops over here, which actually is really good. Uh, so this might open up the capital because this is what we want. If we take the capital, uh, we win against Bulgaria anyway. Uh, we still have a lot of other enemies to fight here, but Bulgaria is one of the stronger ones. Uh, it might be the strongest. I'm not sure. Greece is pretty strong as well. Uh, it looks like we've got Artillery Effort 2. All right, that's excellent. It means that the next tech that we can, we'll can we probably be getting is the Artillery one. Uh, let's just see here uh, what we want to get next. We can go for another Doctrine Effort. Yeah, those are pretty useful here. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, I, I, I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh, these are not going to help us at all. Uh, a little bit of army experience down there at the bottom. That's pretty much it. We're already at war with them, uh, so not a problem. Uh, Anti-Italian policy. I don't know what these do here. Uh, looks like it just affects opinion. Uh, oh, okay. We could join the central powers here. Okay. Uh, if we wanted to. And what are we getting here? Looks like joins German. Okay, this would have us fighting against Russia. And then we can get the technology sharing. That would actually be really helpful because I'm sure they're going to be ahead of us in techs. We only have uh, three tech slots. And the other tech slots are locked behind uh, all, all these uh, national focuses here, which are all kind of gated by the current year. Uh, so let me just check. Where are they? Maybe they aren't down here. I thought they were. I'm not seeing the extra tech. Maybe I... Oh, okay. No, that's technology sharing. Huh. Do we not have any... Oh, there they are. Okay, that's where they're at. Well, I think these are locked by year two. Yeah, they are. Uh, we have to wait till 1913. Well, wait a minute. It is 1913. Okay, excellent. So we can move down uh, to some of these other ones that we couldn't get. Why can't we get them? It's still saying that we don't have... We have to have the infrastructure effort uh, in order to get any of these. I was not aware of that. Okay, well, let's go and get that then. Uh, I'm not really, I was kind of avoiding that one because I don't really care about the infrastructure right now. Uh, but you know what? If you gotta get it, you gotta get it. And it looks like we are losing over here. That's not good because they keep moving my units. That's why we're losing over there because uh, they just keep on snatching up these units. Uh, we're gonna move these guys over there. It uh, looks like they have a little loss of organization. Maybe they were attacking there. Um, okay, that's not good. Well, we're gonna have to send, damn. I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do here. We need to get units over there. You know what? We're just gonna go ahead and retreat them. Yeah, let's retreat them. Come on over here. Retreat. Although, it looks like that's one of the weaker units. Maybe we shouldn't have sent them. We're going to send both of these. Whichever one of these uh, has the most strength is going to stay. Okay, so we want this one. They're going to come on and retreat over to here, too. And they don't have the highest organization, but it's fine. Uh, these guys can defend this province all on their own. They have not had any issues. I think a big part of that is because they're on the hills. Uh, those train bonuses really help us out. Uh, so, yeah, we're losing over here. Uh, what I think we're going to try and do is maybe attack right there. I think that would be helpful. Let's send this division in. Yeah, they could win. We're gonna send both of them then. We'll send both these divisions in. Uh, doesn't increase the front at all. Uh, I think it'll be helpful. Uh, and then we're gonna attempt to attack this province here and get even more of the divisions cut off. The original plan was just to get this one province cut off. We're gonna try and get all of these dudes cut off. That's the goal. We'll be attack from both of these provinces here. Let me just see if there's anything else we can do. All these problems, all these units here are not necessary. Uh, I think we can move one of them. Uh, let's just grab one of them up. Let's put them. Let's put them. Do we want to go over here to uh, the east, or would we like to? I think we need to move them here. Uh, we need to get towards that capital. Stop playing games here. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys uh, wrapping around. Uh, we're going to have to take the long way, unfortunately, uh, because we don't want to get embroiled in those conflicts there. Uh, we're going to move right here. And then we'll, or we could move right there as well. That's an option. Ah, but we'll move here. It's fine. It's closer. And then we'll get them into the fight. Yep. Yes, sirree. Uh, just go ahead and pay attention in there because I don't want them moving away. Uh, we're not going to have them attack just yet. Are these guys strong enough? They are. Excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and get one of them over to the orange army because the, the key one here, uh, the, the first one that we have, uh, because the orange army is having some issues there. Uh, and then the other ones will go somewhere else and they should start moving over there now. All right, fantastic. Uh, and let me see if anybody else is strong enough. These guys feel like they're strong enough as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get them going to, I 
think I want to say the Yellow Army, because I think that that's the best one or the place that we have the best chance of winning. Besides over here with the Red Army, which we'll put some more divisions over there as well. Uh, but I feel like we need a little bit over, more over here. We just really are are not strong on that front. Luckily, Montenegro is really just not an issue when they're on the offense anyway. Uh, we're clearly having troubles uh, defeating them on defense. Uh, and I kind of feel like we'll wait until we get these guys up to 90% uh, before we assign them. It's fine. Slow and steady wins the race, guys. As you can see, 134,000 casualties uh, for Bulgaria here. Yep, they are not doing uh, very well. Greece has lost quite a few men as well, attacking us over here in the mountains. Uh, and as you can see, they're not attacking as much anymore. I wonder if we could win here against any of these divisions. This guy's strength is so low, uh, but it is in the mountains. The mountains are pretty troublesome. Uh, what we're going to do is we're not going to, I don't want them all to lose their entrenchment bonus. Uh, so we're going to take the, yeah, we're going to leave this guy out and just attack with these two. Can they win? Nope. Still can't win. Those mountains are rough. Okay. Could we support here? Nope. Okay. Can't, can't win in the mountains. Well, now we know. <laughs> I guess it's good to know. Uh, let's see here. I, I have already tried this once before. We did take this province, uh, so maybe we can attack here. Uh, we are on the de defense right now, uh, so can't do it just yet. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send one of these divisions over here. And yeah, we're being attacked again. Okay. Um, as soon as we finish up this defense, we'll have them support. These guys here are kind of defending, so I don't want them to attack right now. Because uh, I don't want both of these guys attacking and defending at the same time. Uh, but you know what? No, we're not going to do that. Uh, what we're going to do is maybe pull one of these divisions and put them over to here. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, and then we're gonna take these guys uh, and have them attack. I think both of them, no, no, no. We're just gonna have these ones attack. They're just gonna support actually. Just help out. All right, excellent. Uh, let's just see anywhere else. We are losing over here now, that's irritating. What if we send another division? Can we win? Nope, still can't win. Wow, oh, they shored it up. Okay, let's, let's not be stupid. They shored that up, there's more divisions. We could attack over here, but of course we're defending everywhere, so can't do that. Um, how about these guys? Are they up to 90% yet? It looks like it. Uh, let's go ahead and get them uh, moving then. I feel like, why are they so keen on defending this province here? It's irritating. Come on over here, guys. Help. Help me, please. <laughs> You're killing me. Get some more divisions over there, because we cannot hold that province. Uh, they really want that from us. I almost want to let them have it. I, I kind of feel like we could just defend the, you know what? I'm tired of having to deal with this province. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna retreat, guys. We're gonna retreat. These guys can all stay here. We're gonna retreat, let them have the province. I think that would be far better. Uh, what we'll do is we'll pull one of these guys back here. Okay, um, yeah, this, this is fine. I'm absolutely okay with this. Uh, we can defend these provinces a little bit better than we could defend uh, that one. That one's just, it doesn't have any terrain bonuses. That's really what my issue with it right now is. We got communication systems. Uh, let's just go ahead and get something else. Uh, well, we can't get anything over here. Uh, these ones are all mostly for, yeah, we got uh, air support. Uh, we got tanks. It's just not going to help us right now. Nope. Submarine attack could be useful later on. So maybe we want to start researching that. But it feels like we should start getting naval doctrines if we're going to do that. I think that would be far better. Uh, did we, we got something unlocked in 1913. But I don't know what it is. We're just going to swing through these. Oh, I think it was that. I don't think anything else unlocked. Okay. Uh, we did get the artillery bonus. So I feel like we're probably going to go for that next. Yep. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Let's get that. Uh, and I do want to take a look at our navy too. I want to see how many units have built up over here. Because we've been working on this for a while now. Okay. We are doing okay. We mostly got light cruisers here. We really do need to get ourselves uh, something a little bit bigger. Uh, <laughs> these uh, uh, these these cruisers and destroyers are certainly nice. Uh, submarines are, are you know can be helpful, but I kind of feel like I think I w didn't want to waste. Yeah, that's what it was. I think I didn't want to waste the resources. Yeah, that makes sense. But if we want to get a navy going, we're gonna have to. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna trade some. You know what we'll do? Uh, we'll build some more civilian factories first, uh, and then once we have those uh, for trading, then we'll get some bigger ships. I think that'd be smart. It'd be wise. Uh, so let's go ahead and put some more civilian factories. It doesn't really matter where. Uh, we'll put some into Mosul over here. Um, 
no, we'll, yeah, well, that's fine. And then we'll do uh, one over here. I want to get like several more uh, civilian factories because we just don't have very many guys. Uh, the civilian factory situation is not great. And now that we have these military factories built up, I feel pretty com confident with 20. Uh, that's not a bad place to be right now. Uh, and I think we're good on infantry equipment. I don't know why it says that. That's just irritating. Uh, but yeah, I think that what it's saying is that's how many our units need right now for upgrades. I believe uh, that's the way it was before and I think they just didn't change that which is what I was all excited about I was like excited about them changing that uh, but it seems that that is not the case I guess what we're gonna go ahead and build here uh, is no we don't need to put them in a horse drawn I think they're they're building that up pretty nice I think we're gonna go ahead and put that in the support equipment uh, and everything is looking good here I'm not gonna trade for anything else resource rise uh, we're fine everything is fine uh, I'm not gonna train any more units up right now I kind of want to get our equipment situation fixed and I feel like our guys are pretty good uh, not too worried about it. We do have these guys ready. I think I was going to put these guys in the army uh, before, and then something happened. I didn't. Uh, you know what? We might want to pull uh, like a cavalry unit out, put them somewhere else, so that we can put another one of these divisions over here. Uh, because these are not the strongest. Uh, the cavalry ones and the reserves are not the best here. Uh, where are these guys at? You know what? Let's move, move these guys. Uh, and the reason why is because we're sitting at 24 divisions. Uh, so I don't want to get a penalty here. Um, so, wait a minute. Actually... He's a field marshal. We're not going to get any penalty. I didn't even think about that. Yep, he's a field marshal, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, let's go ahead and throw one more into that Red Army then. Not a problem at all. All right, excellent. Uh, so, yeah, I don't I don't know why I didn't realize that. Uh, so we have more divisions over here, uh, and now we have the Yellow Army and the, red, the Orange Army trying to protect this province, which is pretty cool uh, because it's a province that they seem to want to attack a lot. Uh, we'd always take that province back if we wanted to. I'm sure we could probably win that, uh, but we're not going to. It is fine. I also feel like we might be able to pull somebody off the orange army and put them in the yellow army. Uh, or we could just put this last one into the yellow army. I think that's what we'll do. You guys, come on over here. Uh, let's get them assigned. And maybe we can do we can launch an offensive over there. Uh, and we still are trying to win here. Uh, having some issues, though. It's kind of a difficult fight. Uh, maybe we can take some more provinces here. We got three divisions sitting here. Let me just see if we can take this. I think a big problem why why it's hard to take these is because of the, the trenches. I don't know. They got forts there. Okay, did they build those? They must have, right? And it looks like our offensive... Oh, that's right. We had to cancel it. I wonder if we could attack again. Let's just try. Let's attempt an attack here. It's green now, but we've had that in the past. Uh, we'll have these guys support uh, once they uh, pull back. There we go. Excellent. And let's see if we can win now. It'd be better to have two and two over here. Um, yeah, it would have been far better. Uh, we could have got more units on that line quicker. Okay. Um, let me just see if anything, any other offensives have opened up. We are we are attacking Bulgaria now. Uh, I think we're going to be able to defeat them because, uh, yeah, they've lost a lot of casualties, 157,000. I really feel like we're going to get them defeated soon. Uh, we could probably attack this province as well, but you know what we're going to do? Uh, we're going to have these guys support here. Uh, whichever one is... Okay, they're actually both pretty good. Let's get the best ones over here with that nice combat bonus. So that we can win there a little bit quicker. Okay. Um, anything else we can do? Not really. I want to get that province there so we can get all these divisions cut off. That would be awesome. Okay. Uh, we could attack uh, Greece as well, but we already tried this several times. I just don't feel like we're going to be able to win. Uh, maybe we could take that province there. Uh, but that really increases the, the front a little bit. And I don't know. I don't think that's the best bet because we have to keep units here. Um, because of uh, the Italians attacking. So it looks like we have the event for the military coup. A military coup took place in the Mexico City led by, I think that's supposed to be Mexican City led by General Victoriano Huerta, the military commander of the city. Uh, Maduro was arrested and a short time later assassinated along with his vice president, Jose Maria, or Maria Pino Suarez. Okay. All right, so it looks like that should have changed them over to Mexico. Yep. All right. So now we have Mexico. I was wondering when that was going to happen. So I guess sometimes the events just take a while. You just got to give them time. Uh, but I'm still wondering why that Italian one has not fired yet. Uh, I would really like to have this war ended so we could use our navy. Uh, can't use our navy right now uh, because of the Italians. Uh, but once we defeat them, uh, we could pull this navy out. Uh, it would not be a problem at all. Okay, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode, guys. Uh, we got some offensive going into Bulgaria. It's been a lot 
tougher uh, defeat them than I thought. Even though they have such low strength, our offensives are winning, but they're taking so long. I have a feeling that has to do with the mod, uh, that a lot of the uh, stats have been reduced, which would make sense because uh, you're supposed to be able to play this mod all the way to World War II. Uh, there would be the, the, the deaths would be far too high uh, in World War II if you didn't decrease the stats some. So I imagine that's what the, what the deal is, uh, why it takes so long to uh, kill troops. And I'm sure once we get into World War I, uh, we're going to see that increase because remember, we're not even into World War yet, one yet. This is just the Balkan Wars here. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please give a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, also, please comment. I love hearing from you guys uh, in the comment section uh, just about anything. Uh, question for today. Do you like to play strategy games while drinking? <laughs> yeah, so I hope to hear from you guys. And remember, I read all the comments. I try to reply to them as well. And my, my, my speech is starting to slur. I have actually drank in two beers during the process of this video. Uh, so, yeah, I'm on my, my fourth beer right now. Or fifth. This is my fifth one right here. Yep, this is my fifth beer. Uh, so, about a six-pack is when I start feeling a little bit of buzz there. But, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm having a lot of fun with this campaign here. Uh, and I, I hope we're going to be uh, winning the Balkan War soon. Uh, as surprising as it may, we're, we're going to actually defeat them here. Uh, but, yeah, uh, thanks for watching.